I don't buy digital games. I just don't. I put my foot down. My feet. I just don't do it. But here we are. I just bought a digital game. Damn it. My curiosity got to me, right? Watch, it's going to be just like Sonic Mania. I, 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 pay, I pay for the download and then the physical release gets announced later. What the heck, man? Ah, well. The price was right. You, the one thing you got to remember, too, and the only reason I... I ever do digital downloads on the Nintendo Switch is because I accumulate so many damn gold coins. We got to talk about that at some point. But you can practically, if you buy a lot of Nintendo Switch games, physical, doesn't matter, physical, digital, you get gold coins for them. Physical, you got to go into the menu and claim them. But, man, you can wind up getting games for free. Might as well take advantage of it. I buy a lot of Switch games between, you know, for myself and my kids, so... Always getting discounts on these things. But today I wanted to take a look at this Castlevania Anniversary Collection. I've been playing it a little bit. I'm pleasantly surprised, guys. So this is done. The emulation is done by M2. M2 is the shiz. That's all I gotta say. They are currently working with Sega on the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive Mini. So that's definitely exciting stuff as well. Um, they've done a lot of stuff with Sega Ages. They've worked with Konami, uh, you know, with the Rebirth stuff. They've done the 3D Classics for the uh, Nintendo 3DS, stuff like that. There's, They've been doing a lot of work, a lot of work. But let's just jump into this. Take a look at what we got going on. So, I'm liking this presentation. It is pretty nice. You get into the main menu here, and you got a bunch of games to select through on the side. You get the story kind of scrolling through. You could uh, press, what is that, Y? And get some staff credits. I mean, if you're really interested in that, you can look at the staff credits. I mean, it's nice that it's there, but let's get out of that. But we have the original Castlevania from 87 for the NES. Simon's Quest from 88 for the NES. Dracula's Curse, so Castlevania 3 for the NES from 1990. And then one of my favorites, top favorites, Super Castlevania 4. I know this is a favorite for a lot of people um, as far as like classic Castlevania goes. Then you get a couple Game Boy games, Castlevania Adventure and Belmont's Revenge. I actually, I have cartridges for all of these games. Actually, you know what? Why the hell did I buy this thing? I actually own every single one of these games on the original. Oh my God. I just realized that. I own all these freaking games. Jeez. Such an idiot. Double dipping. But hey, <laughs> I guess I just wanted to play it on the Switch like an idiot. But yeah, we got these Game Boy games. I don't really care for the Game Boy games, but we've got them. We've got Castlevania Bloodlines, otherwise known as uh, Vampire Killer, or in Europe, Castlevania The New Generation. It does make it a point here. You're only getting the North American version, so don't worry about that New Generation thing on the side there. And then we get Kid Dracula. It says 2019. This is actually released a long ass time ago for the Famicom. I do have the cartridge. We've played the, the cart on this channel before. Um, and the one thing is, is this version is edited from the original release from what I have seen so far. And we'll, we'll take a look at that in a second. Um, the bonus book. This is pretty neat. If they do wind up doing a physical edition of this for the PS4, the Xbox, the Switch, whatever the Intellivision Amico. I, I don't know. The Atari VCS. If they make physical versions of this, this bonus book needs to be included. Taking a look at this thing, I actually really dig this. I don't... I don't here's the thing, man. I like physical medias, but I can kind of deal with digital because you, you have to nowadays with music and movies. But when it comes to reading materials, I like having that in my hands. I don't read you know, books on a screen. I read an actual book, magazine, stuff like that. Um, but I do find this interesting, but I would much prefer to have this in actual book form to look at. I mean, you could put this on the Switch, go sit on the toilet, do all that kind of good stuff, but I mean, I, I just like having books. I don't know. But we do have uh, some table of contents here. You could scroll through the book. I think it's pretty neat. Shows you the box art for the, the game from, you know, multiple regions here. And looking at it, you know, some of these box box arts are the same, you know, as far as the artwork used, maybe cropped a little differently. Uh, maybe the colors are popping a little differently. But I did notice a few of them are 
a little drastically different, like Super Castlevania 4. I like the US box art better. I mean, I don't know what the hell's going on there with that dude. Holy crap, woohoo, that was a loud, loud notification. Getting in the way of my video here, man. God. But yeah, I like the US version better than the same thing with uh, Dracula's Curse. I mean, I guess the, the Japanese box art doesn't look bad, but I, I like the US one. A lot of times Japanese versions always like better as far as the artwork goes. And then you see here a uh, Castlevania Adventure, pretty much the same, just cropped differently. Colors popping. Uh, Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge. Uh, you know, the Japanese one, I think uh, it's a little more uh, compelling than the US version. I think I like, I think I like the Japanese version. And then Vampire Killer or Bloodlines or Castlevania the New Generation. Look at that, the European version and the Japanese version got very similar box art, but the Japanese version with Vampire Killer and that blood red. I'm giving that one the edge, giving that one the edge. Kid Dracula, Japanese box art. There's only Japanese box art, pretty nice stuff. What else do we got? So then you get instructions, how to play the games, some story, just like if you had an actual manual. You know, so this thing's not like crazy long. There's a page for each game. That's why I'm like, you know what? They, they could do, you know, a physical booklet of this if they uh, release the game. Let's see how many pages do we got? Bloodlines, Kid Dracula, uh, 28, 29. Oh, the, what was that? What was that? Special discussion. So some interviews and discussions about the music and talking about Symphony of the Night to Lament of Innocence, which are not on this collection. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of cool little interviews and stuff like that. And so I think that's pretty cool. Whoa. Oh, this guy's looking pretty intense. Long running franchise in the animated series. Yeah, I, I actually really dug the animated series. Oh, there's some Metroidvania talk in there. We're not gonna go through all this stuff. I just wanted to see where we're at. The history of Castlevania. That's pretty dope to see that on there. Actually, really like that. Get some uh, timelines for uh, the games and the uh, the Belmonts and characters and whatnot. Wow, this book goes on and on. Who are the Belmonts? Wow. What else do we got? Things any vampire hunter can relate with. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to read through this stuff. Oh, some sketches, design documents. This is a pretty thick book. This is a pretty thick digital book here. Holy schmoly. Wow. So you can, um... Oh, you can, you can, uh, hit the button to check it out. You can zoom in, zoom out, scroll around. Yes, yes, I dig that. That's pretty cool. So enough of the, uh, the book. I think this is really awesome. How many pages are there? 69, 70? Man, it just goes on and on. Kid Dracula stuff. Damn, so that was uh, 79 pages. Pretty cool stuff, man. <laughs> really cool, but there's that. Let's jump into a couple games here. With this being, M you know, the emulation being done by M2, I'm telling you, from everything I have played, it is flipping amazing. Everything plays the way I remember it and the way I know it. I've played some of these games fairly recently. And every game here, you do have a bunch of options, which is kind of cool. The basic stuff, start game or watch replay. You can record a replay. Like if you're just playing through the game, uh, you can hit, you can go to the options and choose to record the whole gameplay. And it'll record from, you know, you starting the game until it ends or whatever. And you can watch that. that I think that's pretty neat. And you have that for every game. So here's Kid Dracula. Pretty, pretty interesting one. This was never released in the US for the NES, but we did get a version for the Game Boy, which was still a pretty good game. But look at that. None of this makes sense. Maybe that's why we didn't get it. Like, what is that? Boom, he just like threw an apple in his eye. I don't know what he threw. He threw something. But now it's on. It's like, let's do this, right? So. Let's just jump into it. I'm gonna, put, I have a save state. There's save states as well, but the mechanics of this game, you can get weapons throughout the game, different abilities. 
But you just start with this little, uh... Whatever the hell it is, you can charge it up and shoot. If you charge it up, the enemies drop coins. You can collect heart pieces to gain more life. So if you found a big heart piece, you would have four hearts. So that's how many hits you take. Um, I believe if you have the other abilities, you would hit select to change them. Um, to get to the options, you hold the ZR button on the Pro Controller. So this is where you could save the replay so you could watch it later. Um, save state, load state. You can mess with your controls. Look at what the controls are. Some games do allow you to change them, but not all of them. Display settings. So I have it on pixel perfect right now. You can go original, 16 by 9, stretch it out. The choice is yours. Don't let anybody's judgments hinder your enjoyment of your game. Scan lines, 16 by 9. Man, that looks butt-ass ugly. Pixel perfect scan lines or 4 by 3 scan lines. I'm not a fan of scan lines. Me don't care. I'm going pixel perfect. So then we also have frames. You can go no frame. You can go this Castlevania frame. This other frame that, I mean, to me, it's kind of, no, no frame. I'm not a, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of frames. It's kind of distracting at times. So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and load my save state. We're right at the first level boss right here um, where you fight this little, like, <laughs> This little dude, right? I think this this might be why it never released in the U.S. Because people were like, what is this? This this ain't right. Um, once you d defeat this little bitch right here, his, his papa comes out. And in the original version, he did have the little symbol that some people mistake for, a, for something else on his head. Um, but it wasn't. It's just a Japanese symbol. But they did remove it from him. But with the way he looks with this this white hood and whatnot, oh my god, yeah, people people are like, what what is this? What is this? It's a Japanese developed game. Come on, guys. Like, I don't know what it is either, but it, it looked really, really crazy when you seen him with the uh the original graphics. But that was removed from this version. I'm not sure what else has changed. But yeah. Okay, we got the we got the homing spell now. Pretty sweet, but just a minor edit. Roulette. Let's just okay. Let's yeah. Let's let's just do it. I don't know what you get on this. Jab and pop. Garapon. What do we win? What do we win? A Garapon. Have fun. Okay, we get to Garapon it up. Okay. Fingers crossed. What do I do? Oh, I got a white one. I don't even know what the hell I'm supposed to do, but whatever. Good luck, fool. <laughs> Let me see. How is it that we change? Okay, select, yeah. Which, interestingly enough, is ZL for some reason? killed myself but let's back out of this game let me go ahead let me go ahead and save it let me go ahead and save but there's that Famicom game in the US pretty cool stuff Bloodlines awesome game let's jump into Super Castlevania see what kind of craziness we got here I mean we've gotten access to a lot of these games quite a bit over the years uh, maybe not so much Kid Dracula Oh, feeling good, looking good. Look at them pixels. Okay, got to get used to these controls. Is this a game that we can? Uh... No, but it tells you everything here. Nice. But so far, this this game is looking, it's smelling, and it's tasting great. Holy crap. If you don't have these games on original cartridge, if you're not emulating them, I mean, you're emulating them on this, no, ma no matter what you look at, this emulation, just in a little nicer package, I guess you would say. 
But yeah, I mean, if you're looking for that Castlevania fix, this is 20 bucks. Like I said, if you've got your little gold points on the Switch, you can wind up getting this for free. Um, it does like expire, I think, depending upon um, when the game was released that you're getting the gold points for. So if you have physical games and they've been out for a while, you may not get the gold points. So keep that in mind. I think... Uh, let me see. What, what would you do? Yeah, you would go down here, earn game points, hit A, boom, check in. Who will receive the points? I will, dude. Let's see, did I earn points for this one? You cannot, oh, because this was not a, that's the way you would do it, but since this game, that Final Fantasy game I have in there is not from my region, it's the Asian version, you can't collect points for it, I guess. But hey, check your other games, right? <laughs> But there you go. That's how you do that. Let's exit out of here. Let's let's take a look at the Game Boy games. We'll just check out Adventure real quick. See what this looks like. What a Game Boy game on the big screen looks like. I have played this a little bit in handheld mode. I don't really play my Switch too much in handheld mode, but there was no performance issues or anything like that. Oh, that's cool. So we got Pixel Perfect Dot Matrix. Color filter, color filter, perfect. Huh. Let's go with the dot matrix. Looking like we're playing on an actual Game Boy. This is, I didn't like these uh, Game Boy Castlevanias because they're just so sluggish to me. Like I said, I do own these, but I just, I don't play them. The, the Game Boy games are like the worst ones, in my opinion. The Game Boy Advance ones are dope. But these Game Boy ones, eh. I can't even remember. Which one was the good one? Was it Legends, or was it this one? I don't, I don't even know. I know there was one of them that was alright. I don't think it was Adventure. Might have been Legends. So they should have thrown that on here as well, but there's that. I mean, Game Boy games don't really care, right? Original Castlevania, this video is going on for too long, but I just wanted to kind of test this out, give you guys my impressions. Let's jump into it. Controls are just fine, you know, using the Pro Controller, not really perceiving any crazy input lag. Most of that's going to be, you know, your display. This is responding fairly similar to if I'm playing this on an, an NES with a very low latency solution to display it. Yeah, this, it feels fine. I can't nitpick or complain about the uh, input lag or latency. Everything's feeling good. So there we go, 20 bucks. Can get it for cheaper if you got them gold points. Just wanted to share this with you guys. I'm happy. I'm happy that this collection came out. I'd rather have it physical. I don't know why after starting to record this thinking, wait a minute, I own all these damn games. Why did I just spend money for this? Appreciate it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. Boom. Bye.